With spring slowly trying to arrive, I can feel myself being pulled to start waking up and refreshing the house. When we moved into this home four years ago, we went straight into a whirlwind of new jobs, a new puppy, and then having a baby. Lately I've just been feeling a lot more motivated to try to make our house more finished feeling. We did some things when we moved in, like switched out some light fixtures and painted all of the many colorful rooms white but we haven't gone through and decorated the rooms really so that they feel very intentional. I'm so excited at the idea of thrifting things and hunting Facebook marketplace and garage sales to find some perfect pieces for our home. One thing that I've been meaning to cross off my list is that I've wanted to do a painting for above the coffee bar since we set it up two years ago. I knew I wanted something in similar colors to what is on the coffee bar, and that my husband liked the idea of there being some sort of tower in the painting. I recently did a sketch of a lighthouse that I really liked, and I felt like it would be a good fit for the space, so I decided to do a larger finished version of that sketch. I've made a good start on the drawing here. I don't actually ever draw right on watercolor paper, but on this day I was feeling really motivated to just get going and not plan this out too much. I think that that might be because of the little sketches that I've been painting lately that have been really free and unplanned. They have been really enjoyable to work on and the finished sketches turn out a lot looser than how I normally paint. I really wanted to try to bring some of that into a finished piece and also to just have fun with it. There is no pressure on this piece. It is only for practice and for my kitchen. If it doesn't work out, that's okay. I have just started in with some initial washes. I'm trying to keep things really loose, but I'm also having to adjust to the difference of working on a full-size piece versus the very small sketches that I've been doing. I'm having to work a lot more quickly to cover the page before the paint dries, and I can see a few spots that I don't love at this point, but because I want brush marks and texture in the finished piece, and because this will all be built up in layers, I'm not really worried at all at this point. I also laid in some initial color on the lighthouse. I love these warm and cool tones together and the way that they look like early morning light. I'm really excited about this piece so far. 
and I'm excited to see how it will all come together. Taking a quick break, I decided to head downstairs to start some seeds. I have been wanting to mostly plant my garden with seeds this year because it's more cost effective and also just to practice and see if I can do it. I don't have a lot of experience with gardening, but it's something that I'd like to get really comfortable with. It also makes me happy to get to do this with my daughter. I love that at two years old, she's already excitedly telling people what we're going to grow this year and is already really looking forward to our garden. Coming back upstairs, I realized that I actually did want the lighthouse to be bigger. So even though I had already started painting, I decided to just go for it and draw the lighthouse bigger again. This is, again, why I always do a line drawing and sketch before I do a finished painting. But something about changing this painting partway through was really fun for me. And with it just being for me, I felt really confident that it would be fine in the end. I had so much fun laying in these stronger colors with the sand and grasses. I want the painting to have a pretty soft look overall in the end, but it's nice to get to start playing around with brush marks and texture. I also love layering up the colors to create little pops of interest where you can see brighter colors poking through.
This is only the first layer on this painting, but I'm really loving the way that it's going and how free and fun it has felt to just jump in with it. I'm excited to show you once I've made some more progress on it. Thank you for joining me today as I start yet another painting. One day I'll have to double back and start finishing some of these projects, but for now this felt like a perfect way to spend some time today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.